In this video, I'm going to tell you the differences between diastolic and systolic blood pressure. You probably hear these two words all the time. Have you wondered why there are two blood pressure numbers and what they mean? Is one more important than the other, especially if you get older? I'll tell you everything you need to know right now. If you want to see more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. I'll start with systolic blood pressure. It's the top number of your blood pressure reading. Systolic is the pressure your blood is exerting against your artery walls every time your heart beats. Diastolic pressure is the lower number of your reading. It indicates how much pressure your blood exerts against your artery walls every time your heart is resting between beats. So what makes each number considered elevated or high? If Systolic is 120 to 129, it's considered elevated. And if it's 130 or more, it's considered high blood pressure. There is no elevated number with diastolic pressure alone, but if it's 80 or more, it's considered high blood pressure. There are no typical symptoms of either high systolic or diastolic blood pressure, and that's why it's frequently called the silent killer. And for treatment, if either number is elevated, a doctor will likely recommend lifestyle changes. If systolic or diastolic gets into the high range, in addition to lifestyle changes, the doctor may recommend medication depending on how high it is and your risk factors. And for low blood pressure, there's no set systolic or diastolic numbers, but most medical experts consider it to be a systolic number less than 90 and a diastolic number less than 60. Unlike high blood pressure, both systolic and diastolic low blood pressure have a ton of symptoms, which can include dizziness, blurred vision, fatigue, lack of concentration, dehydration, and clammy cold skin. Typically, if your blood pressure is low without any symptoms, many times the doctor will determine no treatment is necessary. But if you're low blood pressure is accompanied by symptoms, it's likely some form of treatment will be prescribed. So when it comes to which one is more dangerous, both systolic and diastolic pressure have serious consequences. High systolic and diastolic blood pressure can result in cardiovascular disease, stroke, and heart attack. Low systolic and diastolic pressure can result in stroke, heart attack, kidney failure, and shock. As far as older people, systolic blood pressure typically increases. For people over 50, high systolic pressure is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease due to plaque buildup and hardening of the arteries. And trying to lower systolic pressure can present problems with the diastolic pressure because it can make it too low and dangerous, especially with people who may have low diastolic blood pressure to begin with. Diastolic or systolic, it's important to monitor your pressure at home. So if you're interested in the home monitor I recommend, check out my blog post by typing this into your computer address bar, bloodpressureexplained.com slash monitors, or click the link down below. If you found any value in this video, click the thumbs up. Stay healthy, and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.